Hey, what is up, guys? Masterly Vlogs here. And, uh, just first of all, again, my, it's like nighttime and my brother is having trouble going to sleep and stuff, so there might be a little bit crying in the background. I'm just hoping it's not, like, super loud. Yeah, but okay. So, so I'm always playing with stuff in the middle of when I'm talking. It just, you know, helps me think. But before we start, what do you think of my shirt? Pretty legit, right? It's a legit shirt right there. Okay, so today I have the week 14 picks for, yeah, week 14 in the NFL. Um, so we already know that the Cowboys beat the Bears on Thursday, and really, I would have picked the Cowboys anyway. There's no offense to Bears fans, but the, there was no way the Cowboys were going to beat, were going to lose to the Bears. Unless, like, just it just went crazy. But, uh, okay, so I'm just going to talk about my picks for week 14. I have... So the game is the first game is the Ravens versus Dolphins. That could honestly go either way. I mean, let's see, Ravens and Dolphins. Dolphins have a really good defense. Raven, uh, yeah, Dolphins have a really good defense. Ravens have a really good offense. It could go either way. I mean, if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with the. You know, I'm gonna go with the Dolphins on that one. I'm just gonna go with the Dolphins, cause uh, their defense is really good. But the thing is, the Ravens' offense is pretty good too. But uh, the whole deal with the running back situation, then again, Justin Forsett is doing pretty well for the Ravens. And then the Dolphins got Nosha Marino and Lamar Miller. So it can honestly go either way, but uh, I'm going with the Dolphins. Next, we have the Panthers and Saints. Neither of them are doing very well. They're both in the same division, I think, right? I think they're both in the same division. And neither of them are doing very well. Again, it's just a toss-up. Either one could win. If I had to pick one, though, Raven, uh, no. Panthers and Saints. Saints have a pretty good offense. It's just they're not playing to their prime, you know? And then the Panthers, they have a pretty good team, too. They're just not playing to their prime, either. I'm going to have to go with the Saints, I guess. Yeah, the Saints. So, yeah. Next. See, a lot a lot of the Week 14 matchups, they're not exactly big, huge, crazy matchups that everybody's going to be watching, you know? So, I mean, most of these are like, you know, Panthers and Saints, Rams and Redskins, Chiefs and Cardinals. Chiefs and Cardinals might be a good game. All right, so Bucks and Lions, Buccaneers and Lions. <sighs> I mean, I'm a lot more lenient towards the Lions just because the Lions are just a better team. You know, the Buccaneers have, they're not exactly the best at either they're not exactly super good at offense or defense. They have a better defense than offense, but neither of them are really that good, you know? So, yeah. Um, uh, Jets and Vikings. Again, these are just small matchups. No, I'm, I'm probably not going to watch any of these. I might watch a few, but, you know, I'm probably not going to be super interested in, like, oh, my gosh, the Broncos and the, the Cardinals are playing, you know, which I think they did already, but... Like the two best teams in the league are playing, you know, or the pa or the Patriots and the Broncos, which they already did, or the Patriots and the Cardinals, or whatever, you know, or rivalries like the Steelers and the and the Ravens, you know. I usually watch rivalry games, you know, but okay. Um, Jets and Vikings. This could go either way. Also, it's just a toss up, you know. Vikings lost Adrian Peterson, and the Jets are just a messed up team. They don't have anything working for them. Uh, I can't really decide on which one. Uh, this is just getting weird. I can't really decide on which one I want to pick. I mean, Vikings are good for some reasons. Um, Jets are good for some reasons. I'm just going to go with the Jets. That's, that's my pick. Jets versus Vikings. Next, you got the Rams versus the Redskins. Well, seeing as the Rams are fresh off that destroying win over the Raiders, keep in mind, though, it's the Raiders. But still, that's the biggest loss they've had for, like, 40 years or whatever, so, I'm just gonna have to pick the Rams on that one, because the Skins, they're just, they can't get their quarterback situation figured out, they got RG3 and then Kirk Cousins and then that other guy, I don't know who that was, there was some other guy getting in there, so, unless a team is only as good as its weakest link, I don't know if that's just a baseball thing or whatever, but a team is only as good as its weakest link, and that means that apparently the weakest link is the quarterback of all positions, so, I have to choose the Rams for that one. Next, the Chiefs and the Cardinals. So that's probably going to be a good game. Um, Cardinals are pretty good. Um, Chiefs are... Cardinals are, like, one of the best records in the NFL right now. And then the Chiefs, they're just, like, 
they're pretty good. They're not super good teams. It's not a super good team, but it's a really good team. So, I'm going to go for the upset here. I'm going to go with the Chiefs. And I'm going to pick the Chiefs here, just because I think the Chiefs can pull it off against the Cardinals. They're both really good defenses. Oh, no, wait. Uh, yeah, because Eric Berry is out. Oh, he has, like, some sort of lymphoma or whatever it's called. My prayers to him. I hope he gets better. It's really awesome. I really hope he gets better. Yeah. I'm still choosing the Chiefs, though. Chiefs over Cardinals. Seahawks and Eagles. Now, the Eagles are playing with Mark Sanchez right now because Nick Foles got injured. Mm. Seahawks are also not doing very well. They're okay. They're, like, in the hunt for the for the, uh, the playoffs right now, so... Eagles are also in the hunt. I think they're actually a winning. They're they're in a winning um. <coughs> excuse me. They're in a winning. I think they're like I don't know. This is week fourteen. They're like eight and six or something like that. Maybe nine and five. I don't know. But um, yeah. I'm probably gonna go with the Eagles. The Mark Sanchez led Eagles. The infamous butt fumble guy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Eagles in this one. Colts and Browns. Colts and Browns, Colts and Browns. But first, before we talk about this, I've been thinking about this, and don't you think that Andrew Luck, with, like, you know, his beard and stuff, and must and beard and stuff, doesn't he look like an older version of me? I mean, really. I mean, sometimes I look a lot more like him than usual, but also, a lot of times I look a lot like a younger version of Andrew Luck. Let me know in the comments if you think it's true. But I, I often think that I'm, like, a, a younger version of Andrew Luck, you know? Colts and Browns. Again, a team that doesn't really have its quarterback situation figured out yet. Johnny Manziel or Brian Hoyer. <sighs> Colts have a good quarterback. Reggie Wayne, and then they got T.Y. Hilton, and then, like, Levon Brazil, and then a bunch of other random people. Um, I am going to have to go with the Colts, and that might just be because I'm biased, because I really like the Colts, but... Sometimes you just have to be biased, so I'm going to go with the Colts. Next, the Steelers and Bengals. That's probably going to be a good game, too. Sorry, I'm just, like, stretching because I have a backache. It's probably because I'm super fat, but, yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that on YouTube, but I'm not even that fat. But, oh, off, off topic, okay. Uh, Steelers and Bengals. Steelers have a good team. They got Big Ben Roethlisberger. They got... Heath Miller, they got Antonio Brown. Bengals, A.G. Green is out. I I think Andy Dalton might be out. Or is that Carson Palmer? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Carson Palmer that's out because Drew Stanton is in, and that's the backup for the Cardinals. So, Steelers and Bengals, I just have to go with the Steelers in that one because A.G. Green's out, and then the Steelers got all their prime receivers. And then the Bengals are just messed up. They got, like, Mohamed Sanu and stuff. But she's not bad. But he's not, like, the greatest either. Next, we have the Titans and the Jaguars. Neither of them are doing very well. In fact, I think the Jaguars might even have a better record. I don't know. Oh, no. Texans and Jaguars. Sorry. Texans and Jaguars. Not Titans. Texans and Jaguars. Well, considering that they have J.J. Watt, who's, like, a beast. And then the Jaguars don't really have any beast people, you know, and the Texans are just doing pretty well, they're not doing bad, but they're not doing great either, so I'm gonna go with the Texans in that, next, Giants and Titans, again, I'm not, just a toss up with these, it, it could be, it could go either way, Giants and Titans, if I have to pick one, I'm gonna go with the Giants, yeah, I'm going with the Giants, cause, uh, neither of them are doing very well, but the Titans, I think, have a worse record. So I'm going with the Giants in that one. Next, the Bills and the Broncos. Need I say anything? EJ Manuel versus Peyton Manning. Uh, all the hot, crazy, awesome receivers on the Broncos versus, like, well, Sammy Watkins, but he's just a rookie and stuff. But I mean, the only thing that the Gi that the Bills have over the Broncos is probably just like CJ Spiller versus EJ CJ. Yeah, they're both like CJs, right? CJ Spiller and CJ Anderson, I think. CJ Spiller and CJ Anderson. They're both pretty good backs, but CJ Spiller is a lot better than CJ Anderson, in my opinion. I'm going with the Broncos. 49ers and Raiders. 
49ers, hands down, in my opinion. It's just nothing, you know, we can do about it. I mean, 49ers, hands down, in my opinion. Patriots and Chargers. That could also be a pretty good game. Um, Patriots and Chargers. Just because Phillip Rivers is sort of, like, getting back down. He was really good in the beginning of the season, and then he's just sort of like, you know, you know, just not really doing as well. But Patriots, because they're doing really well this season. Tom Brady, the grizzled veteran. Well, I guess, what's his name? Shoot, what's his name again? The quarterback for the for the Chargers? I just lost him. Or whatever, I forgot what his name was. I was just saying it. What's his name? Phillip Rivers, that's it. Okay. Uh, yeah, Phillip Rivers, not as well. Next, and the final matchup is the Falcons versus the Packers. The Falcons are also are just a negative team. Not negative isn't like a sense of negative. They're actually negative. They're like, they're they have more losses than wins. So yeah, and then the Packers, led by Aaron Rodgers, just a beast. Um, in fact, I think he has like the best passer rating of any QB in, of all time, something like that. Or he did, like, a couple weeks ago. But Falcons and Packers just got to go with Packers. So there you go. Those are my picks for the Week 14 NFL matchup. Uh, yeah, so cool. If you have any questions to ask me, leave them in the comments. If you have to agree or disagree with what I've said, leave it in the comments. You know, like the video, subscribe. Cool. All right, cool. So thanks, Masterly Vlogs out.